Hello everyone. On today, the uh, one year anniversary of uh, Russia's brutal and totally unprovoked invasion of Ukraine, I wanted to give a shout out to Ukraine. Slavi Ukraini. Uh, there are several rallies planned today here in Tbilisi, Republic of Georgia, and which I, I plan to attend in support of Ukraine. I want the people of Ukraine to know that as a uh, Georgian citizen myself, the people here in Georgia absolutely support you. We were ourselves attacked unprovoked by Russia in 2008 as well. And Russia is occupying 20% of our country. And you were some of our biggest supporters back in 2008. So we absolutely support you from here in the Republic of Georgia. As a US citizen, I wanted to address some of my fellow right-wing Republicans. While many of you have been strong Ukraine supporters, many of you have not. I am shocked and disgusted. Some of you are actually supporting Russia. I mean, how can you possibly support Russia's invasion of Ukraine? I mean, you state that Russia in many ways has become more of a bastion of traditional Western values, i.e. Christianity, marriage in the family, you know, national pride is anti-woke. And while all that's true and great, a lot of those things can be said about Ukraine as well. And even if it wasn't, how is Russia attacking Ukraine going to destroy wokeness and help restore traditional Western values? Of course it's not. It's not based on that. It's based on the fact that many Russians simply cannot get over the past. They think that Ukraine is theirs. Well, no, it's not. Ukraine is an independent, sovereign country. Now, I get many of you feel that the U.S. has spent too much foreign aid over the years. Uh, the United States has an absolutely out of control budget deficit issue and you don't like that and i get it but at the same time think about it the united states fought two world wars and a cold war on europe to secure the peace why give all that up just because you don't want to spend any more money and many of you seem to think that i just give ukraine up to russia well that was the thing that led to world war ii just give Czechoslovakia up to uh, the Nazis and we'll be done. Doesn't work that way. Russia needs to be stopped now. And wouldn't you rather the U.S. send equipment and money to Ukraine rather than troops? Come on, isn't this what's ideal in that sense? And I would also like to say at this point, I am amazed at how well Ukraine has held out against uh, this Russian invasion. Russia probably thought within days, if not okay, maximum weeks, they would have uh, defeated Ukraine, but you have held out strong. That is fabulous. And I also want to say, as a proud citizen of the European Union, since Sweden joined in um, January of 1995, I am very happy to see that Ukraine was given candidate status in the European Union. As a Georgian citizen, however, come on, we deserve it too. Give Georgia candidate status as well. And I'm glad to see that NATO is probably going to take Ukraine in shortly when this conflict is over. Again, don't forget about us here in Georgia. And as a Swedish citizen, seeing Sweden finally joining NATO is a lifelong dream of mine. So I'm looking at you, Hungary. I'm looking at you, Turkey. Come on. Approve Sweden and Finland's entry into NATO. And let's get in. And one more thing I want to address to my fellow right-wing conservatives. You've been right about just about everything, but in the few times you're wrong, wow, you're really wrong. And for those of you, not the majority, but those of you who have opposed Ukraine and supported Russia, you are dead wrong on that. Just as those of you who supported Brexit were dead wrong on that fiasco as well. And the problem is those few big mistakes overshadow being right about everything else. One other final thing I'd like to note is that men's rights advocate. I am not happy with some of my fellow Republicans who are trying to um, stop us from ending sexist service registration in the U.S. We cannot allow that sexist abomination to continue any further, but I digress. At any rate, Slava Ukraini, and um, take care.